Hi, Lily. What are you doing? Florence and I were just taking a nature walk. Yes, a nature walk. Great idea. What's that? Oh, this is my very own just-in-time pocket, like yours. You mean just-in-case pocket. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, it's got all kinds of useful stuff in it. Some string, uh, a clothes peg, and uh, this. Big, isn't it? I borrowed it from my dad. Wow. Ooh. Hmm. It uh, might be even better with some glass in it. Uh, here, why don't you use mine? Yours? Are you sure? Of course. Sharing is what true friends do. True friends. Come here, rabbit. Come on. Huh? <laughs> Wake me up and I'll have you for lunch. I didn't mean to wake you. It was an accident. Come back here! That was close. It was fun. <laughs> Want to go on an adventure? We're already on one. Look, notice how it's shiny on top, but not on the bottom? Wow! No, I said adventure. Exactly. Today's adventure is a nature walk. A what? Yeah, you know, looking at leaves and trees and bugs. But Mr McGregor's garden is full of radishes right now, just waiting for us to... Hey, Lily, why is it greener around the edges? Because that's where the sunlight touched it. I know that for a fact. <sighs> OK, then. Need your walk it is. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> wow! Oh, that's brilliant! <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it! Look! What? What is it? A secret tunnel? A hidden cave? <laughs> it's a ladybird that looks just like Florence. <sighs> I'm going to call him Lawrence and I'll carry him everywhere. Just like you do. <laughs> I just wish this nature walk was a little more adventury. Wait for me! Oh. Someone must have eaten them! Oh, imagine! Have you seen them? Oh, oh, have you? Have you? Oh, oh, whatever has happened to my freshly baked oat cakes? Your oat cakes? Okay. What oat cakes, Mrs. Puddle Duck? Only oh. the sweetest, crumbliest, oat cakeiest oat cakes I ever did oh. bake! They must have fallen out of my basket on the way to the river. Oh! Someone did eat them! Imagine! Yes, imagine eating someone else's oat cakes. Mr Todd took them. <gasps> oh! Oh my! Oh dearie me! Oh my! Well, there's only one thing to be done. I should have words with that thieving fox right away. Phew! I oh, thought we were in trouble there for sure. Jemima Puddle Duck's the one in trouble. She's heading to Mr Todd's. And foxes eat ducks. <gasps> yeah, this is bad. Very bad. I didn't think she'd go looking for him. We've got to stop her. Stop my oat cakes. The chick. I'm going to give that fox a piece of my mind. I say, stop making this infernal hullabaloo. Oh, and what do we have here? I will make a hullabaloo, what's it, Mr Todd? You ate my oat cakes without asking. Oat cakes? Ugh, too plain for me. I'm more of a meat eater. Ah, now it's no use telling fibs, Mr Todd. But my dear Jemima... To have one's precious oatcake stolen must be exceedingly distressing. Oh, it is. Exceedingly.
exceedingly early. So please, let me cook you a brand new batch. It's the very least I can do for such a fair lady. Oh, well, you are a gentleman. And here I was thinking you're a no good Nick. What a silly. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Tot is lying! He's not going to cook oat cakes, he's going to cook Jemima! <gasps> not if we can help it! Come on! Uh, would you mind terribly putting this orange in your mouth? <gasps> what on earth? Oh, do excuse me for a moment, won't you? Ouch! <gasps> Oops! First a duck, now rabbits. A whole feast right on my doorstep. Psst! This is Puddle Dark. would love a new toy. We'll just have to tell Cottontail we took her toy. And lost it. No way! A good rabbit never gives up, and a good rabbit doesn't let his sister down. Come on, faster! We can do it! But Mr McGregor's legs are so long, and ours are so short. One of Dad's secret tunnels. It'll get us ahead of Mr McGregor. Come on! And here he comes. Time for you to do what you do best, Benjamin. I'm not so sure now's the time to eat, Peter. Not eat? Dig! We need to trip up that wheelbarrow so we can grab the toy. Benjamin, no! Robert! Ah! You're mine, Robert! <laughs> Come back here! Stop, Robert! <laughs> well, I've got one of you. The cat! Take my radishes, would ya? Ah, <laughs> Get off me, you cloth-eared cat! I'm not your squeaky toy! Got it! Ow, oh, God! Oh. Ah. oh! It's raining radishes! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Our radishes. You're welcome. I'll tell you one thing though, I never want to hear another squeak again. <laughs> there they are, right where the general said they would be. They're just some old flower pots. Your dad probably used them to hide from Mr. McGregor. Maybe. Or maybe there's something hidden inside one of them. Something that fits this key. Yeah, but if Mr McGregor catches us, we're cooked. There's three of them and three of us. I'll take the pot on the left. <laughs> no. Nothing here. Not a thing. Ah! <gasps> Who's there? Uh, I know I heard something. Ah, well. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> 
That sun must be getting to me. Why, you... And stay out! I really thought that was it. This key is nothing but trouble. <sighs> Peter! Ugh, it's all dirty is what it is. Hmm. I never noticed this before. Noticed what? A flying fox. Looks an awful lot like... Mr Todd! Why would your father have the key for something in Mr Todd's lair? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. Robert's are brave, Robert's are brave. He's not home! The cabinet! It doesn't fit. How about the one under the sink? No. <sighs> Maybe the box on the mantelpiece? Benjamin! Here! Climb on us! <laughs> Mr. Todd! In a long day. Mm. Oh, happy day! It's a rabbit kebab! Huh? Hey! Shh! You're supposed to be keeping lookout! And you're supposed to be keeping quiet! But I am being quiet! Um, that wasn't me! Away from me! <laughs> Aye, you like a wee fish, don't you, kitty cat? <laughs> if there's one thing I really, really don't like, it's cats! <gasps> ah, my oat cake! <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Rabbits! Thieving rabbits! You took my cake! You mean Mr. McGregor's cake. I stole that oat cake fair and square. Ha! <laughs> Tasty, was it? Eh, it was okay, but everyone knows Jemima Puddle's up to oat cakes are the best. Ha! <laughs> Is that right? J uh, Jemima Puddle Duck, you say? Hmm. Ah, oh, well, uh, gotta go. I wonder what that sneaky rat is up to now. I don't know. But you know Sammy Whiskers. He loves cake as much as that cat loves fish. <gasps> yeah, and she loves getting her claws into rabbits too. I bake your bakes, and I make it makes my yummy scummy OT cakes. Time for sitting to do my knitting. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Uh, excuse oh. me, oh. dear Mrs. Puddle Duck, uh, but you seem to have left your bonnet outside. Oh, oh my, have I? I'd forget my own head if I wasn't always wearing it. <laughs> oh, are you sure? I can't see it, Mr. Whiskers. The bonnet was on your head all along, oh. see? Oh. Now it's outside. <laughs> <gasps> oh, dearie me, oh my! No visitors today, thank you. Ouch! And take your knitting too. <laughs> Got it. Cottontail's blanket. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <gasps> Whoa! That storm must be right on top of us. <gasps> That's not the storm. That's Mr. Todd. Well, hello. Eeny, meeny, miny. Run! <laughs> 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 
Never would have made it to the laundry and back before the storm. That's okay. And we didn't have to drink any of that chamomile tea. What? Uh, choo! Oh, sounds like you caught a chill. Oh. Achoo! I'm okay. Oh dear, it looks like you've all caught one. You know it'll fix that, don't you? A nice fresh pot of chamomile tea. Oh, a nut-gathering invention, you say? It needs to reach up high. Oh, oh, and pick the hazelnuts of trees and gather them all up. Fascinating, but I'm extremely busy at the moment working on my latest invention. May I present the automated tidy apparatus? Hmm. Observe. There. Brilliant! It's perfect! We could use this to gather the nuts! What a marvellous idea, Peter! Quite the young inventor, aren't you? Well, he spends a lot of time with me. <laughs> uh, let me just empty the basket. Oh. Uh, <coughs> 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 uh, one thing. Uh, make sure it doesn't overheat. We'll be careful. Thanks, Uncle. Ha! Automated nut gatherer. Well, well. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey! What's the big idea? Looks like rabbits can collect nuts after all. Fire it up, Benjamin! <laughs> It works! I mean, of course it works. My dad made it. Wow! That <laughs> thing is amazing! Woohoo! Those are for you! <gasps> Hopping hazelnuts! It looks like every nut in the wood is in that thing! We'll be nibbling them all winter! Thank you, my radish-loving friends. Thank you. Where do you want to store them? Right there. I'll help you carry them down. No carrying needed. I'll just reverse the machine and blow them in. Huh? Um, maybe you should turn it off and try again? Don't worry. I've, uh, I've got it. Benjamin's dad said don't let it overheat. It's fine, I think. Ooh. 